So now we are saying the Scala try catch method. Yes. Okay. So try catch method. Why we are using that? Whatever, whenever my code is failed for any reason. Okay. At that time, mm -hmm. I don't want to fail my code. What I want okay. to do, I want to catch that exception and print somewhere, or I can store it. Okay, but I don't okay. want to abrupt or the about my job abruptly. Okay. okay. Here, what we do, we use a try block, and inside the try block, we write all our logic or the code which we want mm -hmm. to execute. Okay, and let's say something is not behaving as per the requirement. Okay, that will come under catch block. <coughs> Okay. Okay. All the exception they will come under catch. Okay. Okay. This is a syntax is given here. What we are doing, we are trying to read a file and checking whether file is present or not. Yes. Okay. Now let's go to the Scala IDE and we will do some hands on on it. So uh, actually, this is I was I was doing on a Spark. Okay, so you can skip this park line. I already commented them. So what you okay. can see, our source code file name is a try catch. So as our object name, here is our main method is starting. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my main method. Scope started here. It is ending inside this. I am gonna use everything. Okay. Okay. So what I am doing, <coughs> this is the way we read the file into Scala new file read okay this is one way okay. there is one more way using the io okay that also we can okay do. okay and this is my file path file name. till desktop and this is my file name okay okay this file is not present on my system mm -hmm. emp is okay. present okay but emp 22 okay. is not present so i am reading this file and into one variable okay okay so as a df i'm just simply saying it okay now you see this file reading i'm doing into mm -hmm. my try block yes okay try block started here finished here okay after the try block i'm writing catch mm -hmm. okay. inside catch is start here finish here inside the catch i am writing mm -hmm. various cases so my first case is like file not found whenever i got any exception file not found i want to display file not found okay okay other than file not found if i am getting okay mm -hmm. then that will be handled here so case okay. underscore it means anything which you Other have not declared it can be your file not found it can be your array outbound exception it can be your io input issue okay mm -hmm. whatever i am not declaring here other than that if i am getting any exception that will be taken care by case underscore okay. okay and i will get i want to display this Okay. okay. Here, few things to note. I need to use a jar file here. For reading the file, I have used Java IO file reader. I imported this file in my code. Similarly, mm -hmm. to use my this file not found exception, I have used this jar file or the package. Okay. Now, if I run this, so see, as this file is not present, okay, so I got the error yeah. like file not mm. found. Okay. Clear? Yes. Johan, to you, clear? Yeah, so what is uh, finally runs always? Uh, don't the, worry, uh, don't, don't look at it right now. Okay. okay, just look at this Scala file not found. Okay. okay. So now I remove. Now this file should be present. 
is present on my system. Okay, now we are not displaying our exception. Okay. So suppose if I don't run this, if I don't use this try catch method, then what will happen? Let me comment it. Okay. Now I run this. So you can check got some kind of exception. Uh, exception. Okay. Now, if I comment this also, okay, or let's do it like that. Okay, I am completely okay. removed my catch. Okay, Simply so there it. is an exception, but there is nothing to capture. But, yeah, but here you see my job has been failed. Yes. Okay, and what is the issue? File not found. Okay. I don't want to fail my job. I want to capture that accept, exception. Okay. Then I will use my this is uh, catch statement. Okay. okay. Remember this. This file not found exception should be same like this. Okay. Okay. Now, if I run this after adding my catch statement, my job will run successfully and I'm simply catching whatever I want to display. Clear? I'm not abrupting okay. or aborting our job. Clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Johan, any question? Are we good? No. Yeah. Okay. Now, coming to the next one, finally. So what is finally? Finally block executes guaranteed no matter what exception or what happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. It means finally will always run whether my job failed or it will go to the try method, any exception we are catching, it doesn't matter. It's whatever I I'm writing, I'm writing into my finally that gonna be mm -hmm. executed. Okay. Oh, okay. Generally, why we are using this? So this finally block is used to release a resource during exception like file not found or, or network connection or database connection. Okay. okay. So suppose you are running a job. Okay. Even though your job is failed and but you now you don't want to use the resources. You wants to, mm -hmm. you wants to lose the connection. So at that time, okay. we will use finally. You have written some command to release the connection. Let's say. Okay. Okay. Whether your job failed or successful ran doesn't matter. What mm -hmm. I want, I want to was release my connection. Right. So okay. So add release connection command. I can write into the finally block. Okay. And also, is it mandatory that finally should be at the end of the program or? Yeah, generally, we can write it uh, anywhere, but I always seen it at the end. Because the purpose okay. of this is uh, to be at the end. Is at the end, actually. First, I'm monitoring all my activities that I'm doing, doing on throughout the program. Okay. And okay. at the last, we can display or we can do some execution. Okay. Got it. Maybe we can use in between also, but I personally never seen. Finally, I'm using in between. Okay. So here you are saying, uh, sorry, here you are see what I, after my cache method, I have written this code. Finally, what I'm doing, I'm creating variable A, variable B, simply doing the addition and printing their value. Okay. Okay. So this always run. Okay. Even though I my file, like 
I am not getting into the catch method. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's still this finally is running. Okay. okay, clear? Yeah. Now let's do one more thing. Remove this catch and now run finally and change your file name. What do you say? What should happen? Uh, even this will throw error, but finally should also run. Yeah, it is. Clear? Yes. Johan, clear to you? Yes. Even what, whatever is happening to my code, that doesn't matter. Finally will run, it means it will run. Okay? Okay. Are we good with this? Yes. 